YouTube channel, he handles as projection machines. And in the case of chickens, he sees them as egg projection machines. So I'll discuss why this is wrong and what you can do about it to change. I've truly done uh, research a lot, actually. And you can check all the information of what I'm saying in the description below. This video is not my personal opinion, choice, belief, etc. Because it's not your right to do something when it violates from someone else. So it's about facts. And we need to filter information and misinformation. What I'm trying to say is, it's kind of ironic if you ask information about animal abuse to an animal abuser and it's even more ironic if they answer that is animal abuse. Veganism is an ethical position where you don't exploit, torture, abuse, enslave other beings in order to get something from them. Any claim that is a product of suffering is wrong and unethical. Nature handsomely acts for the same reason as humans reproduce. In the wild, a hen would easily lay from 10 to 15 fertilized eggs. This would only happen during copulation season. So the hen could be a mother and have the joy of having baby chicks. People realized that if they interfered in the natural breeding process a hen would have, these animals would produce even more eggs in order to guarantee species survival. Then, then this behavior was seen as profitable and the egg industry was born. Nowadays, these animals are forced to lay between 300 to 350 eggs yearly and just for the sake of our taste buds that were actually condensed into thinking that this is normal just the beginning of the appropriation of their reproductive system. The hatcheries that supply chickens for factory farming or backyard facilities, they do the slaughter of baby male chicks because they are useless for them. This can be done by gassing, suffocating or bringing them up alive. Can you imagine what it's for a uh, mother to have their babies taken away from her when they just hatch it and they will go to a process called sexing where they will be separated in males that will end up as I have already said and two males that will be just as late as their mothers until their reproductive systems collapse. Worldwide, six billion male chicks have this fate yearly. Certified humane, American humane and animal welfare are programs that support this. Not forgetting that they also support the slavery of all the other animals. The problem with unfertilized eggs is that in order to consume it, you have to still exploiting another being. It takes 24 to 26 hours to internally construct an egg. A yolk is released from the ovary into the oviduct that is divided in five sections. In the funnel, during 15 to 18 minutes is where fertilization should occur, but in the case of the unfertilized eggs, this will not happen because the chicken is tricked into thinking to have a baby like nature, but then she, because she was bred to be forced to produce a natural egg, she not. Then it will stop by three hours in the magnum where the albumen or egg white is added. The inner and outer shell will be formed in the isthmus during one hour and 15 minutes. In the uterus, within 20 hours, the shell that will be around the egg will be formed. It's composed mostly by calcium carbonate. So hands must mobilize 10% of their total calcium in their bones to form one egg. Can you imagine how calcium and other nutrients in the plating for this first egg laying is for them? Osteoporosis is one of the results 
but we'll get to the other health implications first this first egg laying has on these animals. Then it goes to the vagina where a thin outer coat of mucus is added and it leads to the cloaca. This is extremely energy depleting. It's unnatural. Regardless if it's from a backyard or a backyard farm or a small farm, there are still prisoners of their own bodies against their will. This first aglaean is the cause of fatal diseases of the reproductive tract, bone fractures, and it, it can even cause skeletal paralysis. At bound, ovarian cancer, only dead tumors, peritonitis, and uterine prolapse. The last ones are both caused by genetic manipulation. Keep in mind that all of this leads to their premature death or their slaughter. They cannot have a natural death living up to 30 years. They are either slaughtered with two years or they have this premature death. By all these health complications, first egg laying has on them. And this is valid for all the places or any place the these animals are being exploited. Hands are extremely attached to their eggs. And in the fertilized one's case, they even communicate with the baby chicks when they are inside the egg shell. And before knowing if it's fertilized or not, they will treat as it was going to be a baby and they will do everything they can to protect it. When they find out it's unfertilized, they will consume their own eggs as a desperate act to recover the nutrients they've lost in the first egg laying period. You take it from them, as I have already said, they will lay even more in a useless attempt to to guarantee species survival. And this will keep repeating you still more, they will lay more and they will lose more nutrients that they cannot assimilate from their diets alone. So in case you have rescued these chickens or anything like that, please let them eat their own eggs, it belongs to them. The difference is that they need to eat their own eggs. Have already seen what happened with them. And we don't need your herbivores. I have the a link down below talking about it. So if you can watch, watch it. So we, do, we have zero need for it. And the chicken feed can also be nutrient efficient on purpose in order to make them produce even more eggs because their bodies will shock. So it will, they will produce more eggs. And this leads to malnourishment, so they will have broken or crossed beaks if they're not the beak. And they will be the federal because of a protein deficiency that is called bad problem in their livers that is tired because of the 
natural amount of at first at so huge levels don't change the results. Free range. 20,000 birds in a building still counts as such. Organic. Also damages the environment, if not more, and animals get as sick as others. Pasture based is also in the natural environment, stressing them out for not being in their natural habitat and they feel in danger, unable to build colonies that would protect each other from predators by 90% of the time. Backyard eggs, euphemism for exploitation. Chickens are still commodities, are manipulated, forced to lay eggs and suffer from this. The last ones are our reality brought to you by the systematic extermination of raccoons, hawks, snakes and opossum, even dogs. And not because they care about the chickens, but because they want their eggs. What if you were the victim? If you were born in a natural habitat? If they impregnated you to steal your babies? If they forced you to ovulate daily? If this made you lose so much nutrients forced to produce secretions, unable to get enough, that you would need to eat them? If they stole it from you, making you produce more, if you were tricked into thinking you were pregnant, if you developed health complications and would die from it or be slaughtered, if all this was okay and those who did consider themselves superior. Oh, and don't worry, you were a backyard slave. The possibilities are nearly endless. In this article, you find several versions of vegan eggs and also you can stick to whole foods having carbohydrates as the main source of food and eating enough, of course. Because this makes part of animal culture, it extremely damages the environment. Water Grains Ammonia gas emissions Daily water use comparison Chemicals Comparing equal amounts of animal and plant protein. Just want to clarify that anything you do that doesn't affect someone else is no one's business. This health section is just a bonus, but veganism is for addicts first, and this is everyone's business. Egg consumption is the second leading cause of salmonella poisoning worldwide. It can also cause heart disease, diabetes and cancer, including the prostate one. And as reported by Dr. Michael Greger, consuming eggs significantly contributes to an increase in carotid artery plaque buildup. How much more it could have lived? Was it living or surviving? What was the cause of death? It's unethical and also it's about the animals. Not always the outside shows the inside. We're destroying our only home and the beings who are in it. And this is at least mentally unhealthy. I know the excuses, plants do, lions do, have exploitation, etc. All in the description below. 
You now know the facts, even though it can be said several times and there are those who still pretend not to listen. They are aware and they know what's going on. And we all know what we need to do. Speciesism is what we've done. Chickens aren't egg production machines. They exist for their own reasons and they need eggs for their own reasons. Even though I showed these reasons, these beings owe nothing to us, but we do to them. The right to be free. The right not to be a property. The right not to be a product of injustice or the things that we take out from their bodies. The right not to be genetically modified. The right of having a family. The right of living, not surviving. The right not to be stolen and be harmed from this. The right of being a being. And that means to be vegan.